welcome back to Pure Lottie. So today's video, we are creating my perfect quad. So I am using the brand Center of Attention Cosmetics to create my perfect quad today. And I'm going to create a look using the four shades in the quad with you. So if you wanna see how I created this look and what kind of quad I created, then make sure you keep watching. And if you like today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's jump in. Hey guys, so first step is we're going to assemble the little quad. So you buy them like this, comes like this, just cute little packaging, um, pull it out. And in here it does have a mirror and then four little areas to pop your shadows in that you want okay so two of my shades are already used um they're from my christmas little palette from the advent calendar so the first shade that i'm going to pop in is a pink lemonade so it's just this really pretty baby pink let me swatch it for you it's just a matte shade just a matte baby pink really really pretty so that's going to be my first one that i am popping in there and it fits perfectly so there it is there um my second one is also from the christmas advent calendar one and it is glisten these shades are now sold as well separately um but this is like a really pretty iridescent like glitter like pressed glitter let me pop that in there and I'll swatch it for you as well. So there it is there. So let's grab it. Now this one is like really soft because it is like a pressed glitter. Um, it can be messy. So you could need like a glitter glue or at least have a wet base at the minimum. But how stunning is that shade? Then my last two shades I ordered separately because these were in the Rated M palette um, and all the shades are sold separately now. Um, so I have Send It and Sucked In, which is two other shades of pink. So let's open up Sucked In first. Okay, so Sucked In is this hot pink here. So let's give that a little swatterini. Absolutely gorgeous love 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 that shade i've actually used that shade like heaps in my palette um and i'm running low on it so this is a perfect top up okay and the lucky last one is send it now send it is very much like the first shade uh which was pink lemonade however pink lemonade is fully matte and send it actually has a few little sparkles in it it's not shimmery but it has some little sparkles let me see if i can get that on camera so they look very similar it's like a tiny bit lighter but there is some tiny shimmers in there so let's watch that let's see if you can see it on my finger first no you really can't but this okay but that is send it and that is all four shades together. So that is like the perfect palette for me. Um, as you can tell, I like pink. You should all know this by now <laughs> um, if you watch my channel. So that is my perfect quad, um, perfect travel palette as well um, for me if I'm just creating like pink looks. So I'm going to create a look with this with you guys today. So give me a few moments. I'm going to do my brows and prime my eyes and I will come right back and we will use this palette. Okay, so I have done my brows and prime my eyelids off camera. I did just use the Center of Attention Cosmetics Light Beige Eye Primer um, to prime my eyelids. So we're going to use the quad that I just made with you. So we've got four shades here. Now, most times I'd probably only use two to three shades because, I mean, you don't need to use so many shades. Um, you can create a look even with one shade. But I do normally like to have like a matte and a shimmer or a matte and a glitter. So in this instance, I'd probably do one of the pinks, um, one of the two matte pinks along with the glitter on top or if I wanted to tone it down, then I would probably go with the matte pink that has a little bit of shimmer through it. Um, 
but today I'm going to try and use all four shades with you so that I can show you a look using everything. So I really need to wash my eyeshadow brushes um, because I've run out of all the ones that I really like using. Uh, let's go in. Alright, I'm going to have to go in with a bit of a bigger brush. Okay, I'm going to go in with Sucked In first, which is this hot pink one up here. I'm just going to tap off any excess and make sure that I tap out any creasing that is on my eyelids because it has been like a minute since I primed the eyelids. Once all the creases are gone and then I can go in and put my shadow on. So I'm going to grab the brush and I'm going to tap it on, put the pigment down first, just on this outer half or out a third of my eye um, when I start running out of color just go back in and grab a little bit more and I am going to bring it into my crease as well and I will open up my eye just to make sure that I can see it and I've brought it high enough because you don't want to go through doing all of this work and then as soon as your eye is actually open, you can't see it. So, eyes open, I'm looking straight ahead um, and I can definitely see it still, so that's okay. Just gonna take a tiny bit more shadow. Um, I do like to pop the shadow down and then blend it out. Now to blend it out, I just do either little circles or just little swipes until I get the blend that I like. Just like this. Just so I don't have like any like super harsh edges or anything like that. And I am going to take a tiny bit more just in there that I've taken away. Just like that. Then I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Okay, so I've done the other eye off camera. So we're going to go back into the first eye. Now I'm going to go in with the fully pink matte. This is a like baby pink matte. So this is pink lemonade. And I'm just going to tap off any excess. I'm just taking like a smaller brush to sort of like cut the crease. I'm not really cutting the crease because I didn't actually go in with like concealer or eye primer or anything um, because it is a pink look it's not really needed um but these shades are pretty pigmented that you don't need to really cut the crease anyway but we're gonna pop that on this first two thirds on the inner corner just like this and just keep packing it on until you get it where you want i normally have a bigger brush for this but as i just said I haven't washed my brushes, so I'm going in with a really small brush, so I can only pick up a small amount of pigment at the moment. Just get it to a way you want it. Doesn't have to be like super precise. If you want it super precise, I would definitely go in with like a concealer or a primer underneath. Um, at this point, the edge there, you can clearly tell the difference. So I'm just going to pick up the brush that I used for the hot pink, and I'm just going to sort of pull that in slightly just to blend it together and then do a really quick sweep over the crease there just to make it a bit more blended and not give me like such a harsh line. So again, I will do the same on the other eye. Okay, so I did the same step on the other eye off camera. So this is where we are at now. So then I'm going to go in with the glitter shade. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to use my finger and tap it on. I don't want it to be super, super glittery. If I wanted it really, really glittery, I'd go in with like a glitter glue or something to help it stick. Um, but I just want to enhance this look. So I would like a little bit of glitter, but not like it fully glitter. I just want it to sort of shine on top of where I have put pink lemonade. So I'm just going to take my finger and just tap it in. I've just got like a small amount on my finger. It's not a giant amount. And we're just going to tap that. Now I will get some falling out on my face as well because I haven't got a glitter glue. But that is why I like to do my eyes first 
rather than my base because then I can clean up any fallout. So just like that. And then I'm just going to do the same on the other eye as well. So I've done the other eye off camera and I have cleaned up any fallout on my face. So now I'm not super glittery, but let me zoom you in real quick. Okay, so this is what the eye look is looking like. Super pretty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump off camera and I'm going to pop some lashes on. Um, I'm not gonna do a liner or anything like that. Um, I'm going to start my base and I will come back and I will do the lower lash line with you. So I will be back in a few seconds. Okay, I have done most of my base off of camera now. So we're going to go in and we're going to do the lower lash line, the inner corners and brow bone. So picking back up the little quad. I am going to go in with just a very small brush. So we're going to go into the last shade that we haven't used yet. So it is Send It. So it is the other like a matte light pink, but it has little shimmers through it. Let me see if I can get it to pick up on camera. I'm hoping from what I can see in the viewfinder, I can't see it, but maybe in editing, I might be able to get it to pick it up. So it's this one here. So we're going to go in and I'm just going to use it dry to start off with and we're going to pop that on the lower lash line. So just looking up and just blending it out on that lower lash line. Super pretty, really, really pretty. Okay, so I've done my lower lash line. So now we're gonna do the inner corner and brow bone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna use my Finish Hair Spray from Center of Attention Cosmetics. Um, and I'm going to just wet my brush. And I've just sprayed a little bit on my desk in front of me because my desk is glass, so it doesn't absorb it. Um, and I'm going to dip it in to the same color, just on the side there. And we're gonna use this wet for the inner corner and the brow bone. And as you can see there, it like gives it a bit more pigment. And just on the brow bone as well, just very lightly on the brow bone. Up close and personal. So you can see the color difference. It's the same color, but this is dry and this is wet. So it just gives a bit of a pop of color there. It's just really, really pretty as a pop of color. You could totally do this as a pop of color and have a completely neutral eye as well. Um, I've done that heaps of times. It looks absolutely beautiful. If you're a bit scared of doing like a super vibrant eye color, then yeah, this is like an excellent way or even just in your lower lash line. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna take the wet brush again. I've just wiped the pink off and we're gonna go back into Glisten here. Just take a very small amount. Um, if you've taken too much, tap it off on your hand and we're just going to very slightly tap that on that inner corner as well just to add a little bit of glitter again not too much very very subtle and let's pop some on the brow bone as well just for good measure so really really subtle but beautiful so i'm going to jump off camera again and i'm going to finish the makeup and then i'll come back and i'll show you what the finished look looks like okay so i have finished up all my makeup now so this is the finished look so to me this is like my perfect like quad um i am very much a pink lover um and i love to do pink eye looks i can create so many different looks out of this as well i don't need to use all four shades to create a look um i just wanted to show you one with all four shades today um but i can definitely get away with just using two of the shades i could even just do a one shadow look as well um but yeah i can get away with using two or three shades um, on like a daily. So I absolutely love it. I'm gonna zoom you in and I will show you what the look looks like close up. Okay, so this is the look close up. So super pink, super pretty, absolutely love it. Let me zoom you back out. So you don't have to create a quad just out of pink shadows. This is just what works for me because I like pink and I like to do lots of pink eyeshadow looks. Um, but every single shadow that you see in the Rated M Volume 1 palette, which I have here, 
she sells every single one of these separately um, and there is a few other added, added extra shadows that aren't in this as well um, so yeah you can create a quad with whatever look you want you could do a neutral look um, you could do absolutely whatever but yes that is everything for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out and if you're new don't forget to join my family hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos and as always thanks for watching guys bye